Hi Aquarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly love reading and it's going to run from November 20th to December 20th, 2016. Um, perfect timing right before Christmas. Um, December's will be out. So my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. Um, let me just say too, you know, thank you guys so much for, you know, your likes, your comments, your interactions. Um, those of you that I've done private readings for, thank you. Those of you that have allowed me to upload them to the Facebook page, thank you. You've saved me hours of uploading time. Um, so for my new subscribers, especially if this reading does not resonate with you, please look at your moon, your rising sign. You can find that at cafeastrology.com. Literally takes under 30 seconds. And there's no gender. It's whoever it is for you. Man, man, woman, woman. Private readings, absolutely it matters. General, it does not. Those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be below the video. Those of you that also would like to check out my Facebook page, um, you know, I do contests on there, free readings, I share stuff. I interact a lot on my Facebook page. So I will also leave that link for those of you that want to check it out. Awesome. Okay, so we are using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. We are pulling a Psychic Tarot heart, Psychic Tarot card from um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. We're also going to pull a blockage card. What could be the possible blockage in the relationship for the month? This is the Love Tarot by Sarah Barlett, and it only consists of the 22 major arcana cards. And we're also going to pull three romance angels cards from Doreen Virtue. So Aquarius, I've already prayed over your cards. Love. And let me also say this too before I forget. Those of you celebrating Thanksgiving all across the globe, happy Thanksgiving. I wish you nothing but the best, the happiest, just with friends, family, your loved ones. A very blessed Thanksgiving. Okay, let's see what's in store for you guys for love. Good. Perfect. Okay. Foundation. Current. Helpful. Clarifier. Outcome. I'm going to get the overall energy card. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Foundation. We have Major Arcana, the High Priestess. Okay, Major Arcana cards. Highly spiritual cards. This is a highly spiritual card. Um, universe speaking to you strongly through these cards. Trying to tell, tell you something, promote something, make you aware of something within your life. Present. Major Arcana, the Lovers. Two Major Arcana cards right in a row. Okay, um, what's helping you is the Six of Pentacles. Clarifying card is the Page of Swords. And the outcome is the Page of Cups. Beautiful. 
Okay. So, um, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. Sorry. Um, I've been sitting here for a while. Okay, um, let's see what the overall energy card is. Giving and receiving. That is also um, the Six of Pentacles. But a little different, but still. Um, you know, and looking at the reading with the lovers, this being the sixth card. So really in the reading, there are... Um, already I see, you know, that there's three sixes and with that being said, you know, there's definitely harmony, responsibility, objectivity, communication. There's problem solving this month for sure. And without even clarifying that, I feel that already. Okay. So, um, let's just start with. Giving and receiving, okay? Now, this is um, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And it's, you know, in this deck, it is also balance. It's reward, it's share, it's ask. But when this card appears in relationships, it takes a loving, balanced energy. So, you know, you've worked hard to understand yourself. And now it's paying off. You know, you're being rewarded with joy, fulfillment. So if there's someone in your life that could benefit from what you've learned around matters of the heart, you know, take time to share your insights. You know, don't try to solve people's problems. Just, you know, be a mentor and look for other ways that you can be of assistance to those around you. Definitely, you know, be sure to just give only what you can give and, you know, don't, don't, you know, give more than what you could give. Um, you know, be open to receiving support, inspiration from others. You know, with that card, the universe is waiting to help you. You know, you're blessed at this time. Well received additional favors. You know, if you if you you know ask for what you still need and trust that you will receive it. You know, it's it's gifts. You know, it's it's gifts is what how I'm seeing it. As the overall energy for you guys for the month. Okay, now we're starting out with the High Priestess. Okay, so, you know, the High Priestess in the Foundation. In relationships, um, it could mean being single for a while. You know, you or your partner choose to, you know, keep secrets from each other. You know, and it is a card of mystery. Um, you know, that there's more that needs to be known, you know, things that need to be revealed. Um, what do I, what do I want to say? Um, you know, with the, then, you know, we have the lover's card in the foundation. Okay. And that is. You know, choices, okay? It is, you know, choices in love between three people. It's temptation. You know, it's human love and relationships. I love how it's portrayed in this deck. You know, it's um, just I feel like, you know, it, it's portrayed as the way, you know, love should look and feel, you know, with stars and sun and, but, you know, notice in this deck, you know, there's not a third person hovering. Um... 
but I just don't feel, I feel like it, it's new relationships. Um, you know, could definitely start. Um, yeah. And, and I, and, and what's helping you is that there's gifts with the Six of Pentacles. Okay? It's giving and receiving. It's gifts. And it's rewards, you know, for, for efforts that you put into this relationship. You know, in the past, you're being rewarded definitely for efforts. And you're being rewarded with gifts. You know, there's... You know, it's, you know, for some of you, you know, it's, it's just, you know, with the page of, um, the page of swords here, you know, clarifying, you know, it's, it's, it's just acting honestly, speaking directly, facing the facts, you know, for some of you, maybe just Analyzing the problem, you know, developing an idea. Then we have the page of cups, you know, as the outcome, and that's that's news coming in. You know, that's that's um, love news. You know, it's um, just. love news, but I feel like there's definitely a mystery behind all of this, like, um, I mean, the Page of Cups definitely is a love offering, you know, two pages in a reading for me definitely show me that there's a, definitely a close friendship. You know, with the Page of Cups, there's feelings, emotions. You know, and especially in this deck, it could be news of marriage, engagement. You know, even even birth. Um, you know, definitely sharing your time with others. Okay, let's um, clarify. All right, the lovers and the high priestess. For Aquarius. And it is beautiful the way it is, but uh, let's get let's get serious. Well, okay. These cards definitely fell right out of my lap, right into my lap. I don't even know how many is here. Um, okay, so I guess well, we'll go this way. Okay, so there's definitely a strong male Aries. Okay, general reading. Okay, male or woman, male or female. An Aries man or woman is definitely a strong influence and they're definitely coming in with a love offering love news and and the ace of cups ace of cups is beautiful in this deck okay so definitely um You know, the emperor is definitely a, a person of, of stability, authority. You know, relationships, it could just remind you to look at the situation in a more rational manner. You know, rather than, you know, becoming, you know, overly emotional regarding issues. You know, to look at things with a clear head. 
And you're definitely going to. Um, yeah, and, and with, the Ace of, with the Ace of Cups there, I mean, that's just, you know, it's, it's definitely a start of a new relationship. For some of you, the beginning of happiness. You know, for those that are already in a relationship, it just represents a sense of renewal. You know, in the love partnership. You know, which brings emotional happiness to the home, to the family. I mean, it's it's a great energy for all of you. Um, you know, those of you that are waiting on a message, waiting on communication, waiting on this proposal. This proposal is definitely coming with gifts. For sure, Aquarius. And you guys are already friends. Probably a strong friendship. It definitely revolves around an Aries. Um, most likely. If not, I mean, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, whoever it is for you. Okay, so really, it's beautiful. Let's see what the blockage is. And you cut the Sun. Okay, so as a blockage card with the Sun, you know, even the Sun can cause problems in your in in love lives. You know, sometimes we can get burnt. You may be like really like over exaggerating how happy you really are or only looking at the surface of a relationship. You know, your happy-go-lucky attitude might be irritating your friends who want to confide in you. Um, maybe just, um, I know it's blissfulness. I know I've been there. Just maybe turn it down a notch. Uh, listen, it's the sun card, and the sun card is the sun card. It's the most positive card in the major tarot, and um, I really, I gotta fix this. Um, okay, like I knew some of the cards were upside down in the last reading, and now it's just bugging me. These cards do not get read in reverse. It looks like. Sorry guys, I have a Virgo. I have a, I have this problem with things being neat and organized. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Aquarius. Still, what are the additional love messages? Aquarius, November 20th to December 20th, 2016. Way too many cards. Sorry, guys. Okay, that one definitely wants to come. So does that one. No. Beautiful. Okay, we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Somebody's decided. Some of you can need to let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Um, I 
I mean, for some of you, I mean, not that I see really any endings here, but some of you could just be freeing yourself emotionally, really. Allowing this to happen, using, you've used your intuition. There's, there's definitely, there's, there's a lot of communication this month. Definitely, probably with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, possibly a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But, but there's definitely, you know, there's definitely... There is definitely love decisions here, so you definitely, you know, you need to clearly decide what you want. But I think that's going to happen very soon. There's just, you know, there's too many, you know, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, you know, the Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. That's news, love news, communication, text, lots of communication. And clarity. I feel like clarity too. So anything that's been hidden and hasn't surfaced, I really do feel like is gonna come out this 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 month for you guys. Where you know you're gonna free yourself from the emotional worry of it all is really how I feel about it. You know, this offering comes in with gifts. You know, that makes you feel grounded. Listen, what I say could go either way. If it's not you, it's the other person. I just don't say that to save to save time, but it could go either way. If it's not you, it would be the person that you're involved with. You know, and as far as decisions, you would need to free yourself. You know, you need to let go of, you know, one relationship before you could let go of another or... For those of you that are married and in a solid relationship, you guys are solid. If anything, there's just more love and romance. You know, with the Eight of Wands, you know, I do feel like maybe some of you guys could be, you know, putting some sort of plan into action, actually, when I look at the Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Wands, you could be putting plans into action to actually free yourself. That's absolutely possible. You know, where somebody is actually going to help you, giving and receiving financially is going to help you do that. Very possible. Very possible. I would definitely help you free yourself if you were lacking financially and needed the help. And that really, very soon, for whatever it is, whatever the situation is for all of you, it's very soon. All right, Aquarius, beautiful reading. I love it. It's really very soon. Very, very soon. Um, hold on a minute here, one, two. You know, it could start for you guys in the beginning of December with the Ace of Cups. Which is not that far away. Yeah, we'll see what December's uh, reading has to say. Let me know how it goes for you guys. Um, definitely leave your comments. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Again, have a very nice and happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys back here with the Morning Oracle Cards. Bye-bye.